Good morning, everybody. I am Omni Rust, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Uh, we're gonna because I'll B41 multiplayer came out. A lot of people have been asking me for a new trait video, a uh, more updated one, and one without mods affecting the traits. So we're gonna do that right now. Ignore that. So first off, we're gonna go through the professions because each profession is different, and a lot have been updated. Um. So, we got Fire Officer. You know what? Actually, no, going through the traits first so we can actually explain what we get over on the side here. So, uh, Speed Demon. Personally, I don't like Speed Demon. It only costs one point and it, it'll tempt you. It will tempt you into getting it. I would recommend against Speed Demon. You drive very fast. Now, max speed is about 90 to 100 miles an hour. This will speed almost directly into the 120 zone. You lose a lot of control this way. That also uh, pairs with the Sunday Driver. If you get Speed Demon, you can't get Sunday Driver. Sunday Driver gets at max at like 50, but mostly goes 30. So if you want a lot of control and you don't plan to take in a lot of trips, Sunday Driver is where it's at. Speed Demon, I would not recommend. It's a very tempting thing because you always have that one point left over. I would recommend against it. Cat Size, better vision at night. I always take this, but then again, I'm streaming on Twitch and I want to give people a lot more... Uh, a, a, a lot more vision, of, a, a lot more vision, a lot more ability to see what I'm doing. So, uh, cat's eyes is is very very nice for that. Um, you get twenty plus twenty percent better vision at night with cat's eyes. Also, this affects foraging. So, if you're foraging at night, um, the ways to forage better, you know, crouch down, be in the place that you want to find stuff. You know, roads for rocks and. Uh, forest for vegetation and and sticks and whatnot and then have cat's eyes it'll make things a little bit better dexterous easy transfers items quickly uh let's look at the actual points here i got the uh the traits wiki up on my other page here uh for example speed demon uh 200 percent switch switching gear speed plus 115 percent stop top speed for all vehicles so that's the numbers there dexterous is cost two points plus 50 percent inventory items transferring rate um when it comes to all thumbs that is its opposite transfer inventory items slowly and all thumbs i'm gonna guess is the exact opposite why is that not showing up on the wiki there it is oh that's plus 400 percent inventory transfer time that's incredible so next we've got a uh, fast reader it takes less time to read books and it's opposite slow reader takes longer to read books uh for fast reader it's plus 130 percent reading speed cannot be taken if you get illiterate which is a plus eight there where you cannot read anything this includes magazines, this includes the entertainment books, everything. You just can't read anything. Um, and, uh, you know, the slow reader here. Um, slow reader is... Why did they got they split up like this in the wiki? That's weird. Plus 70% reading speed for slow reader. Um, uh, if you're playing multiplayer, you can't speed up time. So uh, fast reader might be... The take unless they've got a mod to make reading faster personally i always take mods to make reading faster on multiplayer otherwise it takes forever next outdoorsman not affected by harsh weather conditions in the winter in a lot of rain in a lot of heat or it, say if you uh wear a lot of very insulating clothing this kind of becomes a must-have uh 10 percent chance of catching a cold one percent or 1.25 percent chance of getting scratched or lacerated while walking or running through trees if you if you don't wear a lot of clothing to protect yourself from you know the trees and whatnot they will scratch you this uh reduces that a little bit by, by a lot actually and you can start a fire or a campfire on the notched plank faster this also affects search mode though i don't know exactly how it just affects search mode Next, wakeful. You need less sleep. Um, 
there is one, the uh, security guard gets Night Owl, which means you wake up easier. Um, and if you get that, uh, let's see, Night Owl, you recover from tiredness quicker while sleeping, but will remain asleep even when your character reaches zero tiredness, which requires alarm to take advantage of the trait. Uh, Night Owl is an interesting one that you can really get with security guard. If you need sleep, I really recommend taking advantage of it, uh, especially with wakefulness, where you need less sleep. That it, it's an amazing trait if sleep is in your server or in your game, because you can take it out. Uh, let's find the exact numbers on it. Wakeful, wakeful, wakeful. This is not organized very well on the wiki. This is incredible. Okay, you need 30% less sleep for wakeful. Next, we got Iron Gut. It's And it's opposite, weak stomach. Iron Gut, less chance to have food illness. Weak stomach, higher chance to have food illness. This is like if you eat food that is, that is already rotten, Iron Gut might be a good thing for you. Uh, if you have, uh, if you're pretty confident on the food that you're going to get, get weak stomach. Personally, I tend to take weak stomach because you almost never get food that's bad. Um, the biggest problem with this, though, is it's, it's really hard to tell when food is starting to go bad. And food with start that is starting to go bad with weak stomach can really screw you up. Because you'll get queasy and whatnot and think that you're infected when really you just ate a bad banana. That was, like, right on the cusp of that. Uh, the specific numbers for that... 50% uh, chance of food illness, so half the chance with Iron Gut. Food illness lasts shorter with Iron Gut. And weak stomach... Come on. Uh, it doubles the chance for food illness, and food illness also lasts shorter. Huh. That's interesting. I thought it would last longer. Interesting. But this is one of those plus three or negative three skills which will always have that leftover point which can which tempts you into getting Sunday Driver or Speed Demon. Don't let it don't let it fool you. Same thing when you get to the plus five or negative five traits, you're gonna have that extra point. Don't let it fool you. Angler, plus one fishing. Not very hard. Does it give anything else? Or does it just start you with that point? Ah, see? Yeah, it doesn't tell you this. Plus, if you get Angler, you know how to make and fix a fishing rod. If you don't think you can get the recipe book for finding fishing rods, or you don't want to take the fisherman uh, occupation, that's the word, go for Angler. Baseball player. Plus one to long blunt. Uh, it's just plus one to long blunt. Nothing special. Brave. Less prone to becoming panicked. If you take Brave, let's get this up here. Um, you cannot take Cowardly, which is easily, especially prone to becoming panicked, or uh, Desensitized, which is a skill particular to the, this is also not in, it, in order, uh, the Veteran, where you, if you get Desensitized with the Veteran, you literally never become panicked. So Brave, less chance of becoming panicked. 30% uh, panic except for night terrors and phobias. Phobias? There's phobias in game? What? And of course, then there's the opposite. Cowardly. <coughs> oh, come on, where are you? 200% panic except for night terrors and phobias. What's a phobia? I've never seen that before. I don't know what that is. Hold on. I, I'm like, wait a minute, what's a phobia? With no infection, does that mean weak stomach is useful? Uh, that's a different type of infection. I'm, I'm also reading a chat right now, just for everybody who's wondering. Oh, come on, go away. Come on, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, first Aider, plus one to first aid. Why is it called first aider instead of trained in first aid? It's just plus one first aid, nothing else. Um, I would say that it's opposite on this end would be hemophobic, but it's really not. Hemophobic, you panic when performing first aid on yourself, and you cannot perform first aid on others. You also get stressed while bloody. Uh, this hemophobic is, um, 
a really interesting one. And I tend to take it if I'm playing solo, but of course not with other people because then you can't do first aid on other people. And learning to do first aid on other people is very interesting. It used to be that first aid would do nothing, but that has been updated, so first aid is really, really useful now. Uh, first aid makes um, your injuries heal faster, less chance of becoming infected, stuff like that. Also with hemophobia, you are always going to be covered in zombie gore, and this will be affected by zombie gore that increases anxiety. If you combine hemophobic with smoker, you have a way of getting rid of the anxiety until you can go like wash up somewhere. If you're going to be near a bunch of water and you can wash up really regularly, I would say hemophobia is a good one to take. Um, I kind of do consider it on my solo games uh, free points if I plan to be near water. Anyway, first aider is just plus one first aid. That's all it is. I would not suggest taking it. It's not worth four points. Gardener, plus one farming. Let's look and see if that gives anything. Yes, it does. Uh, knows mildew and fly cures and affects search mode. So Gardener uh, basically gives you the same kind of stuff that Farmer would. Uh, farmer does... It's got... Farmer's got to give the stuff for it. But um, Gardener gives... Uh, if you have diseased plants, you know how to make the cures for that. and can use a spray can to make the uh, cures for your plant illnesses. It also affects search mode. That's, again, foraging. Graceful. Now, Graceful and Inconspicuous, two of my most favorite, favorite ones. Let's find these on the wiki really quick on my other monitor. Come on, where are you? This is organized in such a strange way. Graceful! You have a less noise radius for your footsteps. Um, if you're planning to go a very stealth character, Graceful and Inconspicuous are very, very useful to take. They've got, however, different kind of abilities. So uh, this gives 60% footsteps down radius, which would normally be 100%, so 40% less of a sound radius to your footsteps uh, while sneaking, while running, anything. Um, that also includes stepping on things that would normally make noise, like glass. You have a 90% chance to uh, trip while running sprinting. So while you're running or sprinting, and like you vault over uh, a fence, or you push past a zombie, you have a 10% less chance to trip. Uh, its opposite is clumsy, which I will never take. I will never take Clumsy, even though it's only a plus two. You make more noise while moving. It says only, only more noise. It does not include, let's see, 120% footstep sound radius, 10% uh, plus chance to trip while running or sprinting. Yeah, you have a 10% chance more to trip. Horrific. If you run from fights a lot like I do. Inconspicuous. One that I think is a must-have. Personally, for me. I always love taking it. Now, Inconspicuous is kind of special. Why would someone choose that? I mean, yeah, exactly. Um, inconspicuous. 50% chance of zombies spotting you. This is flat. This is... This does not stack with anything else. S stealth... The stealth stat on its own is its own thing. This is, at any time, a zombie has a 50% chance to just not see you. That means you could sprint past a zombie, you could be standing in front of it, dancing. It only has a 50% chance to see you. That's an amazing trait for only four points. So good. Um, is there an opposite? I don't think there's an opposite. Oh, right. Uh, it disorganized. Uh, I No, we didn't go into that because that was fast hands. Yeah, the, the, the Inconspicuous is amazing for only four points. Especially if you play uh, stealth like I do a lot. Oh, Sleepyhead. That's what I was looking for. Needs more sleep. Which is the opposite of the Wakeful. That's what I was looking for. Sleepyhead. Sleepyhead. Let's look at the stats really quick. I got people, like, yelling at me on YouTube right now. It's Sleepyhead, you idiot. Where are you? God, this is... This wiki is just... 
It's just really badly organized, okay? It's really bad. Like, there's positives, hobbies, which apparently is different. It's it's really weird. Ugh, okay, where is it? Come on. Sleepy head. Okay, 70% tired rate. So you have 30% less wakefulness with sleepy head, which is the energy that you have for the day. Okay, where was I? Light eater. Light eater. You, of course, just eat less. That's it. But still, uh, if you plan for like a CDDA run, a six months later run, where food is going to be very, very scarce, 25% less food necessary. Amazing. Um, and like, usually you get hungry after like a day. So it tends to help out. Oh, right. Uh, conspicuous. I didn't. Uh, I didn't check that at the same time. You're more likely to be spot by zombies, which of course is the uh, opposite of inconspicuous. Check the number. Conspicuous. Two hundred. You have double the chance of being spotted by zombies. They could be across town. They will see you. No stealth ever. Lucky and unlucky. These are interesting because they do affect the loot you actually get. It says sometimes things just go your way. You have a plus 10% chance of finding rare loot. And you have a negative 5% chance of failing item repairs. And of course, this affects foraging and search mode. Uh, item repairs, that's a very interesting one because sometimes you can actually fail repairing your own item. Um, but finding the rare loot. Rare loot is, let's give an example, the katana. Is a rare loot. Uh, the M16 is a rare loot. Stuff like that. You have a higher chance of getting that. And then unlucky is the exact opposite. No secrets here. Nothing surprising. Oh, come on. Why is this so badly organized? <clears throat> Negative 10% chance of finding rare loot. Plus 5% chance of failing item repairs of X Surge Bar. Nothing surprising there, you know. Nutritionist. This is a very interesting one because you can see the nutritional values of any food. And yes, um, Project Zomboid is one of those weird games where things matter more than just calories. If you're not getting your proteins, your starches, um, your trans fats, it will affect how you gain weight. For example, uh, fish is a good kind of fat. You can gain weight, but not at a high rate, and it won't make you sick. Uh, whereas junk food like chips and peanuts and um, uh, chocolate chips and chocolate will cause you to gain weight at a very bad rate. Honestly, watching this game for a while, that makes me feel like it's the Sims, but it is the Sims, but dangerous, yes. Uh, nutritionist also comes normally if you go fitness instructor. They get nutritionalist on their own. With a plus three fitness, plus two sprinting as well. Um, nutritionalist is if you're really, 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 blah, blah, really worried about the kind of food you're eating or just want to know some more information about the game. Uh, resilient, less prone to disease, slower rate of zombification. And it's opposite, uh, which is... I'm doing terrible today. Prone to illness. All four skills, uh, plus four and negative four. Resilient, 75%, so 75% uh, zombification progress rate. So it's 25% slower to die from being bitten or whatever. <clears throat> this also affects regular illnesses like catching a cold, uh, getting uh, sick from bad food. Uh, so you have a 45% chance of catching a cold, 80% chance, 80% uh, cold strength, 50% cold progression speed, so you'll get uh, healthier faster. And then, of course, there's prone to illness, which is the exact opposite. One second. I haven't had all my tea yet. My throat is very, still very off today. But people on my stream on Twitch were demanding that I do this and update this, and they've been demanding it for a while. Prone to illness. 100, you, you, with prone to illness, if you get bit, you might as well just quit. Faster rate of zombification, 25% faster rate of zombification. Uh, standard rate of zombification is one to three days. That means basically you're going to die in like one day. 100%, 170% 100 
chance of catching a cold. If you get cold during the winter, ooh, you're in bad shape. You're just gonna have a cold all the time. Keep those tissues on hand. 120% cold strength, you'll be sneezing more often. 150% cold progression speed, you're also gonna have a cold longer. Runner, plus one sprinting. Does that give? Uh, nope, it does not give any bonuses to how uh, fast you get tired. You just get plus one sprinting. Honestly, don't get this. You can buy this on your... You can earn this on your own in-game eventually. Don't get that. Sower, plus one tailoring. I'm probably going to say the same thing here. Let's go to the hobbies. Ta oh God, where are you? Plus one tailoring. That's it. Again, you can get this on your own. Uh, get some denim strips and some thread. Sew the denim strips onto clothing. Take it back off. Bob, Bob Drunkle plus one tailor. Hooray. Amateur mechanic. This is a very, very interesting one. Uh, has a detailed knowledge of common and commercial vehicle models and repairs, plus one mechanics. Um, now, this starts you out with uh, the. There's three magazines for sport, light, and heavy vehicles that you regularly need to be able to do a lot of bigger repairs on vehicles, uh, taking uh, off or repairing parts of them, um, repairing their engines, stuff like that. This means you start with all of those magazines, you never have to find them, and also a bonus to mechanics. If you really want a, a head start on mechanics, or you're, you think it's going to be very hard to find those books, I would recommend this, but it's again, very situational. Let's look at hobbies. Come on. Amateur mechanic. Yeah. Huh. Can repair standard and heavy duty vehicles. There you go. <clears throat> now, this has kind of its own opposite, which is the mechanic um, profession. Only in the way that it's the exact same trait, but it starts you with plus three mechanics instead of plus one mechanics. Gymnast, plus one light footed, plus one nimble. That's it. That's all it does. Plus one light-footed, plus one nimble. Uh, light-footed, to explain that trait, is um, the chances of making noise while you're sneaking around. Nimble is jumping over fences. Uh, and how fast you move left and right while strafing. Um, if you want to start with this and you're expected to do a stealth run, if you have the five points to spend, go for it, you know? But honestly, that's, again, stuff that you can just earn on your own. Um, it doesn't look like there's any opposite to that. I would say clumsy, but no. No, that's just it. Brawler. Plus one axe, plus one long blunt. I don't know why it's a fist symbol for using a stick to beat people up. Uh, but that's plus one axe, plus one long blunt. If you want a bonus, or say if you're going like lumberjack, and you can axe man, and you just really want to be super good with axes... You can go with Brawler. Cook knows all cooking recipes. This is a very interesting one. The cooking recipes, there's actually a hell of a lot in game and they're actually very useful. You can also get them from getting Burger Flipper, which comes with the cook uh, trait, or Chef, which comes with the cook trait. So it's a plus six or a negative six for very obvious reasons. You start with every single recipe in the game and there's a lot of recipes in the game. So this one is if you really want to be concerned with food. Uh, this also, believe it or not, affects search mode. I don't know how, but I know that there's certain recipes that allow you to find more stuff while foraging. And I think that's what it means. So you can find uh, different berries and stuff like that while searching around uh, different mushrooms and such that you can put into recipes. Eagle Eye. Now we're getting to some of my favorites here. Faster visibility fade, higher visibility arc. Uh, if you really want to look at this one, uh, let's go really quick. Da, 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 onto YouTube. Project Zomboid Eagle Eye explained and we'll just uh 
We'll just see this how this looks here. Uh, it's basically, if you want to look at it, I will... Uh, this is on uh, Retinaru's stream, or Retinaru's uh, YouTube. I'm not going to show the whole video, but if you really want to know how this looks, I would, rec I would honestly say come and look at this one. It affects the, uh, the arc of your vision and how fast things, uh, how fast you forget where they are, such like that. Uh, so if you want to, I will link that video in my info, you can go look at it yourself. Fast healer, and, oh, oh, what, eagle eyed? And it's opposite, short sighted. Smaller view distance, slower visibility fade. Now, in my last video, I was incorrect. I said that short sighted could be, ne could be negated by wearing glasses. Turns out, it can't. They haven't put that in the game yet. They plan to put that in the game, they haven't put that in yet. However, there are mods that fix this if you really, really want to get short-sighted and wear glasses, and your glasses can fall off at any time, so keep that in mind. But basically, that's the exact opposite of eagle-eyed. Fast healer! Recover quickly from injuries and illness, and its exact opposite, which is terrible. Slow healer. Uh, let's look at the numbers on those ones really quick. Fast healer. Come on, there you are. Uh, does not apply to exercise fatigue. Recently inflicted injuries have less severity. So with fast healer, if you get if you get like scratched or if you get a laceration, there's a chance it'll turn into a scratch instead. Uh, you also heal faster from them. Include scratches, laceration, lodged bullets, deep wounds with or without glass, bites, and fractures. You'll heal faster from them. Or of course, it's opposite. Slow healer where it, uh, it'll, it'll take much longer to recover from all of those. It doesn't actually give the numbers for how fast. Interesting. Fast learner and its opposite, slow learner. This is an experience gain thing. So fast learner is 130% experience for all skills except, except strength and fitness. Does not affect work exercising because that's a, that's a body thing, not a, not a brain thing, and this is the brain. And then, you know, slow learner. Which is the, the exact opposite. It's 30% slower to learn. That's it. Um, if you if you think you, you, you got a lot of patience, go for slow learner, because that's a plus six on the points there. But I, I, I will stick with my fast learner because I am very impatient and I want to learn fast. Now, this also affects your melee weapons. Uh, keep that in mind if you want to take slow learner. Uh, if you expect to be getting one-shot kills with your baseball bat a lot, you're going to want to learn long blunt very quickly. Fast learner is the way to go for that. This will also affect maintenance, so all of your weapons and such will break faster. Uh, fit, which is, uh, you are fit. You have plus two fitness. I'm not going to make the obvious joke there. It's too easy. It's too easy. Where are you? God dang it. This is so badly organized. Fit. It's just plus two fitness. Which, fitness is the stat that affects, uh, endurance. So if you plan to sprint and run a lot, fight a lot, you might want to get fitness. Uh, there is a higher version of this uh, called Athletic, but that's different. We're going to go into that in, in a minute. Uh, that can be affected by things... Uh, see, 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 there's some very interesting things here. Um, there's things that I call free points. So this is affected by negative two fitness, low endurance, low endurance regeneration by out of shape. Now, the thing is... There's several of these that I consider traits that are free points if you're willing to put in the time. So out of shape, you can exercise to the point that that, that negative two fitness goes away and the low endurance and low endurance regeneration will also go away. Uh, to do this really quick, overweight, negative one fitness, reduced running speed, low endurance, and prone to injury. That goes away if you lose the weight. Underweight, negative one fitness, low strength, low endurance, and prone to injury. It will go away if you get that one fitness back. 
obese, lose the weight, unfit, get for fitness, very underweight, weak. All of these, not permanent. They're very interesting. So I just skipped through a lot of the work there. Um, but like all of these, they're not permanent traits. They can be very hard, especially weak, because you could start with zero strength. So you get no dock knockback, decreased carrying weight, all of that. It's very difficult to start with. But if you can do the exercise and you basically just want to put yourself in a house forever and just eat and rest and, and just do push-ups, hey, it'll go away and you get plus 10 points for free. It just takes the time. If you want to put in the time, put in the time. Uh, so there's fit, stout, which is uh, plus two strength. Athletic and strong. Now, it says things like extra knockback and increased carrying weight. That's just because you've got that extra strength. That's just because you've got that fitness. So this gives you a boost to the initial stats. That's all that does. Former scout. Plus one first aid, plus one foraging. Now that's in the hobbies. So does it give anything extra? It says it affects search mode, but I think that's just the foraging. Because what you really would want if you wanted to go former scout is herbalist. This one, it basically replaces a magazine that you can find in game. If you think you're going to find the magazine, then just hold off on getting herbalist. But if you plan to do a lot of foraging very early in the game and you don't want to eat poison berries, and you don't want to eat poison mushrooms, uh, this allows you to know what is poisonous and what isn't. Uh, it also allows you to find medicinal herbs and you can craft medicines and poultices with a mortar and pestle which you can make from just one board, uh, one plank, and you can make your own medicines. If you plan to spend a lot of time in the what time in the woods, plan to run to the woods right away, you don't want to spend a lot of time in town, herbalist might be the way to go. Hiker, plus one foraging, plus one trapping, a lot like former scout. Keen hearing. This, this is one of the ones that I always take. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, it's a lot like eagle-eyed, but keen hearing literally allows you to see behind you let me see if i can find an example project zomboid keen hearing let me see if i can find an example here uh basically keen hearing this is without it you can see there's a little bit of a, a radius right here the visibility keen hearing just allows you to see every it's huge radius around you instead uh, that is a very, very small picture, so you can't really see it there. There's a good one. Nope, that's not a good one. That's a dead person. I'm trying to find a good one in the dark. Keen hearing basically gives you like a, uh, a visibility uh, arc behind you. And anything that you do see or hear, you basically, like, keep an ear on them. Oh, there it is. There it is. Huge radius behind you here. You can barely see it in this picture. Uh, but it allows you to see there, and it has less of a fade. When you see zombies, you kind of keep an eye on them. And uh, can basically hear where they are behind you a lot better. It's a negative six. I think very worth it. Uh, it, of course, has its opposite, which is deaf. You can't hear nothing. At all. If there's a zombie sneaking up behind you, congratulations, they got you. This actually does affect sound in-game, where all sound is off in-game. And if you do get sound, it's very loud sounds, like shotgun blasts, and they're very muffled. Uh, so if you, want that if you want that plus 12 to your trade points... You could take deaf. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, low thirst, you need less water to survive. And high thirst, if you're planning to be around water a lot, might be useful. Um, I say, like, okay, so it's, uh, yeah, 50% less water needed to survive, 50% more water needed to survive. Um, with high thirst, honestly, I keep a lot of water on me. 
I pick up a lot of the uh, the water coolers and keep them with me. I carry two water bottles on me and make sure my strength is high enough that that doesn't really affect anything. And I seem to do just fine. If you plan to be away from lakes and rivers, you might want to take low thirst, but honestly, I've never taken it. Organized. Increase container inventory capacity. This is a very interesting one because basically if you plan to get a lot of strength, strength can affect that, but this will also affect backpacks and stuff like that. You're just very good at fitting things and tetrising things into what uh, into your bags. This gives a 30% capacity for all containers. That says all containers, not just backpacks, not just your pocket. That also includes boxes, cupboards, cars, stuff like that. Uh, and then it's opposite disorganized now that's interesting because this is a negative six because you get a lot more out of it disorganized is only a plus four on points uh disorganized is it's 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 exact opposite in numbers so i it it apparently disorganized affects people less so it costs it gives you less points than just organized uh, probably because you can just put stuff on the ground you know and the ground is an unlimited storage container but if you want to organize all your stuff, like I do, and carry a lot of stuff, like I do, organize. We're going to skip over Scout, go straight for Adrenaline Junkie. Now, Adrenaline Junkie is a very interesting trait. Um, if you really want to know how it affects things, and uh, it's kind of an exploity trait. Uh, because you could do very interesting things with it. Uh, is there a short video that I could point out? Um, if you mix it with claustrophobic or stuff like that, it can become beneficial. Uh, if you can make those traits beneficial. It's it's very is neat, very is neat, interesting. So again, Retinaro, he's got some really good tutorials. Um, but basically what it does, Adrenaline Junkie has a flat bonus of 0 0.20 or 0 0.25 for the character's base speed as strong or extreme panic, which increases walking, running, and sprinting speed. Um, if you mac if you combine this with agoraphobic, so you get panicked while outdoors, uh, claustrophobic, panicked while indoors, or uh, cowardly, so you're kind of always panicked, it means... You're always running super fast. You can get super speed from agoraphobic outdoors and adrenaline junkie. The only big negatives to this, you will be using up uh, your endurance much faster. So make sure to get fitness. You'll be using up food much faster, water much faster because you'll be sweating. Um, you'll have to rest a lot more often. And if you, you'll want to probably combine this with smoker because you'll be panicked all the time, which will make you very anxious very depressed, which do have in-game problems. So, uh, if you really want to run super fast all the time, you can combine Agoraphobic with Adrenaline Junkie and just run all the time. It's... I, I have done it once or twice. It honestly just gets annoying hearing that weep noise all the time <laughs> every time you see a zombie or go outside. And the constant stress, the constant depression can really get annoying. Um, handy, faster, and stronger constructions. This isn't just the plus one to carpentry and plus one to maintenance. This actually has an in-game bonus. Uh, handy, handy, uh, increases building speed, so you build faster. You also get, uh, plus 100 HP to all your constructions. They can take plus, they can take a lot more damage from zombies or, I guess, cars running into them, explosives if that's your thing. Uh, construction worker gets something very, very similar, I believe. I'll have to look at professions in a bit for that. I might be wrong on that one. Um, but, uh, but this is a very interesting one if you plan on building your own bases and stuff like that. Uh, zombies will eventually knock them down. So faster and stronger constructions. You build much faster. You have stronger constructions. It's really good. Also, will work with uh, the stuff that you can make with metalworking, so it might be a good one to combine with the metal worker. So you can forge, forge barricades that can last much longer, chain link fences that won't break down as easy, doors that won't break down as easy, stuff like that. Uh, hunter, 
plus one aiming, plus one short blade, plus one sneaky, plus one trapping. A very interesting one. It's negative eight points, but it gives so much for it. Plus one aiming, of course, is with guns. If you have a mod that gives bows, it gives separate bows. Uh, short blade, so you get plus one short blade. Now, this does not mean that you... Uh, does it mean you learn faster? It does mean you learn faster. So that's the interesting thing with all of these. You learn faster. Which is very cool. You actually learn faster with the hunt with short blade. If you plan on stabby stabby zombies, short blade. Cool, right? You'll learn these skills faster. That's one thing I really haven't really gone into very much here is that you will uh, for the hobby ones. So former scout, you learn first aid and foraging faster. Uh, cook, you'll learn cooking much faster, twice as fast. I really haven't talked about that. I was gonna. Save that for the end, but Hunter is a good place to start that. Thick skin! And it's opposite. Thin skinned. Do you get hit a lot? Do you Are you very, very good at avoiding getting hit at all? Then these are ones to look at because they give a ton of points. Like, I like taking thin skinned because I get hit very infrequently. Evie loves taking thick skin because she gets hit a lot. Um, I do a lot of tailoring, so thin skinned also works for me. This multiplies the chance of not being injured by a zombie attack by 1.3. So the base chance is 15% modified by the character's weapon skill. Additionally, it alters the chance of clothes being damaged by walking through trees. So if you, uh, th th these are the exact opposites, of course. Um, so basically, if you think that you're very good at avoiding getting hit, take thin skin. If you think you get hit a lot, take thick skin. It's a, it, they're very, very interesting traits. I always take one or the other. Um, and of course, if you're planning on running through trees a lot, uh, and you don't want your clothes to get damaged, take, take one or the other. Um, now, I will also mention, Park Ranger allows much faster movement through forests and woodland. Uh, with that trait, you won't really hit trees very often. So if you're taking Park Ranger, uh, and you want to stand, spend a lot of time in the woods, that's one thing to go for would be thin skin because your clothes won't get damaged as often. Um, there's also ways to use the walk to command in forests that will allow you to walk around trees and not get hit by the trees. If you're running through the forest, on the other hand, you're going to hit trees. It's up to you what you like to take. You already went too athletic and strong. Uh, now, let's look at the point, the ones that I didn't cover here. So we've got, let's see... Hard of hearing, which of course is the opposite of keen hearing, and then there's deaf. Hardy appetites, you need to eat more. Pacifist, this one I will never take because that means basically you don't ever want to fight zombies. Uh, pacifist is a negative trait for a reason. Let's find it. Uh, you do... Oh, it's experience. It used to be damage. It used to be damage. I guess they changed. You gain experience 25% slower with all weapons. So it used to be that it would do less damage. I guess they changed that. Smoker, there's a lot of controversy about that. I honestly can't wait until they actually fix this in-game. Smoker is a positive trait. It's free points. You can find cigarettes everywhere. You can make cigarettes with enough foraging. You get a stress and unhappiness decrease after smoking. Unhappiness rises when tobacco is not smoked. So if you find cigarettes, you're good. Get cigarettes, get lighters, you're fine. It's kind of free points. Uh, let's see, asthmatic is one I will never take because asthmatic is a permanent trait where you get faster endurance loss when you become fatigued much faster. Getting fatigued will kill you. I never, ever take this. Uh, let's see. Next, restless sleeper. Slow loss of tiredness while sleeping. This is the opposite of, uh, what... Basically, you just need a hell of a lot of sleep. Um, I don't know why there's this and, uh, sleepy head at the same time. Basically, you need to sleep longer. This is you need more sleep. I mean, I don't know if they combine or what. Sleep for fewer hours each time and slower loss of tiredness. Oh! 
Oh, interesting. So you can't sleep as long with this. You wake up more often. Interesting. Um, and that is it. Okay, now we're going to go to the professions. So fire officer. The fire officer, there's, an, uh, there's different things between this one, if you plan to go axes, and what the lumberjack gets. So fire officer learns axe skill faster. The lumberjack gets things called, gets something called axe man. If you want to go axes, I would suggest lumberjack. Now the, the problem between these two, fire, oh, they cost the same. Uh, fire officer gets more sprinting faster uh, and gets more strength. So there's that for you. Whereas lumberjack gets the plus two axe and only plus one strength, but gets axe man. Axe man allows a uh, faster axe swing and you can chop trees. You need less swings with the axe chopped in a tree. Um, the police officer, plus three aiming, plus one nimble, plus two reloading. This is a good gun one, but honestly, uh, it's, it's a negative four. If you really wanted to go for the points and wanted to go for guns, I would go for veteran, which gets plus two aiming, plus reloading, and also gets desensitized. Desensitized, you cannot panic ever. But that's twice as many points. So depending on how you want to go, police officer might be the way to go. They also get the nimble, which allows you to strafe left and right better. And uh, and uh, plus one to aiming over what veteran gets. Park ranger has a special trait, allows much faster movement through forest and woodland. They also get a better axe, better carpentry, uh, faster learning to foraging, faster learning to trapping. Construction worker, uh, you get faster learning of carpentry. Also, you learn short blunt super fast and short blunt is probably my favorite uh trait in the entire game is my favorite weapon in the entire game that's wrenches hammers uh sticks uh uh um um night sticks uh that the most weapon types in the game are going to be short blunt and this way you learn it very very quickly however it has decreased range over all the long weapons, so it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, now, what you could do is go carpentry, and then say spears because spears get more uh, durability the more carpentry you have. So that might be a thing you want to want to do. It's up to you. Uh, that's only a two point cost as well. Security guard. Now this gets the special trait night owl. Requires little sleep, stays extra alert even while sleeping. Uh, we talked about that a bit already. Uh, you recover from tiredness quicker while sleeping. I wonder if combining this while restless sleeper might be good and it would cancel each other out. I don't know. It's not giving the numbers in the wiki, but that's interesting. Uh, you will remain asleep even when your character reaches zero tiredness. Uh, but basically, uh, if zombies are sneaking in, um, if zombies are sneaking in, or if there's noises outside, a zombie beating on your window, you will have a higher chance of waking up, which is very, very useful. Uh, carpenter, which is the kind of, uh, is a different one from construction worker. You get a much higher carpentry and learn carpentry much faster. You get better short blunt and learn short blunt faster. It's basically construction worker or carpentry. Or you could be building more or you could be hitting them with hammers more. Which one do you want to go with? Burglar is the best newbie friendly um job in the game it is everybody's favorite this is the s tier profession you start with the ability to hotwire vehicles hot wiring vehicles normally takes one skill in, one skill point in electrical and two skill points in, in mechanics mechanics can be very uh, very annoying to grind out uh with burglar you just start with the ability to do it you have better light-footed, better sneaking, so you're much better at stealth to start off with. You also learn these skills much faster, and you get uh, less chance of breaking the lock on a window when you're trying to actually, like, open up a window. You have less chance of beating, uh, breaking the latch for it. Um, it's a very, very, very good and very newbie-friendly S-tier job. Chef, plus three cooking. You learn cooking so fast, so fast. Uh, you get better maintenance, and again, I talked about maintenance. Uh, you break uh, weapons at less often, and the tools you're using less often with better maintenance. This is one of the only classes that gives you the ability to learn it faster. 
This also gives you short blade. So you have a chance of your short blades, your knives, um, hunting knife, scalpels, breaking less often. And you start with, of course, cook. So you don't have to get the cook trait. It doesn't even appear on the list anymore. And uh, you know all recipes off the bat. Uh, now the exact opposite of this would be the burger flipper, which starts with plus two cooking, plus one mate, it's plus one short blade and cook. It's basically the exact same thing as chef, but costs, but it costs a hell of a lot less points. So it depends on like how far you want to go. I've never taken chef unless I want to start with the costume, really, uh, because they learn cooking super fast. Burger flipper, honestly, if you got more patience, burger flipper is the way to go for that. Repairman starts with the fastest maintenance skill in the game and you learn carpentry faster. This is the spear profession. Same thing as Chef, just with less pay. Yes, exactly, Uh The Repairman is the spear way to go. Yes, it says short blunt, but maintenance and carpentry. If you're going to go spears, Repairman's the way to go. Farmer, plus three farming. This also starts with the farming books. You don't have to find the magazines for the gardening. Fisherman, same thing. You start with all the recipes for fishing. You learn fishing very fast. You have better foraging. And uh, you start with all the recipes for the fishing rods, how to repair fishing rods, how to make fishing traps, how to repair fishing traps, etc., etc. Doctor. Now there's two for uh, first aid stuff here. First aid actually does something now. The last video I made, it did nothing. Now first aid allows you to heal faster, to bandage yourself faster, to have less chance of infection. First aid is actually very useful now. Um, doctor starts with short blade skill because scalpels and faster learning first aid if you plan to get hit a lot doctor might be the way to go it's opposite i would say would be nurse uh they both cost the same amount of points nurse gets plus two first aid uh only 100 percent on the first aids learning and light footed is a short blade i would say nurse would be the better one of these two uh because uh you start with one you, you get less first aid but light footed means faster running, much better stealth. Veteran I kind of talked about, you get desensitized. You can never be panicked. If you plan to use guns a lot, desensitized might be the way to go for you because if you get panicked, you aim horribly. So with veteran, you can always keep a steady hand. I talked about lumberjack. Fitness instructor gets the nutritionalist skill to start off with. They can see the nutritional values of any, school, uh, of any food. Plus they gain sprinting skill a lot faster. If you plan to be running, that might be the way to go. They also start with that plus three fitness and plus two sprinting. You're already running faster, and that plus three fitness means you're going to get tired less often. I talked about Burger Flipper. Electrician. I have started with the Electrician before. Don't laugh at that. The ability to operate generators off the bat is honestly amazing because of the fact that you can operate generators without the book, and if you can't find the book, that means no electricity for you once electricity starts off. You can find a lot of generators. If you can't find that one book, you'll never be able to operate a generator. They also start with plus three electrical. Electrical doesn't really do much. It, it kind of doesn't really do. Like, at five electrical, you can make lamps battery powered. Hooray. Engineer. This is one of my favorites. They start with plus one carpentry, plus one electrical, and can learn them a little bit faster. But more importantly, they get special recipes unique to the engineer. And we're going to look at that really quick. They can make the pipe bomb, flame trap, aerosol bomb, and smoke bomb. They are the only ones that get these. You cannot learn these recipes in game uh they're relatively easy to make like uh let's see hairspray box of sparklers aluminum for the aerosol bomb the flame uh, the flame trap is one of my favorites it's it's a uh, fire bomb yeah um empty bottle of gasoline ripped sheets it's a more souped up molotov you can also if you get the magazines for those attach these to timers motion sensors or a crafted trigger. They are, you can find them in game very, very rarely, but, a, but an engineer can just make them. And they've got an enormous range on their fire compared to the Molotov, which is much, much smaller. 
So if you really want to be taking out hordes with like explosives, freaking engineer. That's that's the way to go. Metal worker, you get all the recipes. Uh, let's wait for that. There we go. Metal worker, you get all the recipes for all the metal containers, metal shelves, barricades. You start with all that stuff plus th plus three metal working, which can be very hard. Uh, to level up because you basically got to grind that now this is not going to work unless you have a welding mask and a propane torch um the biggest problem with those you can find those in warehouses in sheds and stuff like that uh you can find propane tanks a little bit easier you can find them in um uh, propane grills so they're a little bit easier to find uh but basically once you run out of those they're gone forever so you can make metal barricades and stuff like that compared to the carpentry uh boxes the boxes the containers that you can make with carpentry so the carpentry containers only hold 50 weight the metal working containers hold 80 and here's an important thing for everybody doing multiplayer you can use padlocks on metal containers so that strangers can't open them unless they have the key and you can hand out one of those keys to other people the reason that it costs so much is because it starts off with a bunch of magazine recipes and that plus three metal working, which is a pain to grind out. Last one, mechanic. We already talked about that one. Those are the professions. Now, we're going to go into the traits themselves. For this one, I'm going to have to blind everybody. Uh, not traits. What are they? Statistics? What is it called? The game. Point value... Builder, what are they called? Oh, God damn it. We'll just go into this picture and we'll talk about it this way. How about that? Okay, fitness. Fitness, junk food in your mouth. Um, I'm not going to make that joke. I will not make that joke, Omni. Making it every day. Fitness, how fast you get tired. Um, how fast you get fatigued and can't regenerate your tiredness to rest. Stuff like that. Uh, strength. How much you can carry, how easier it is to shove zombies down, and also how much damage you do with melee weapons. Sprinting, how fast you run and how fast you become tired from sprinting. Now, there's a difference in game from running, uh, from jogging and sprinting. You hold down shift, that's just jogging. You hit alt, and it turns on sprinting mode, which is much faster, but you get fatigue super fast. Uh, light-footed, how uh, quiet you are while doing the sneak moving, and also um, how fast you move regularly. Uh, Ambiguous Amphibian has some uh, videos explaining this. Nimble, uh, I already explained that, how fast you strafe from left to right while holding out a gun or aiming a melee weapon, and also the chance to trip while jumping over fences. Sneaking, this one explains itself. You be sneaky boy. Axes, long blunt, short blunt, long blade, short blade, spear, maintenance. So, maintenance is a different skill. Maintenance is um, how fast things can break and uh, how much, when crafting weapons, how much uh, condition they get before they break. Um, and I believe how much you get back when you repair said item. Maintenance, you want to grind up. There are some videos on YouTube um, from a, from Retinaru, from Ambiguous Amphibian on how to grind up maintenance. Maintenance is one of the most important skills if you're going to be doing a lot of melee. Especially if you're going to be going spears. Because spears break so fast, so easy. Maintenance is the way to go for that. But anyway, axe is axes. This includes hand axes. This includes axes that you make from foraging materials like rocks and sticks. Long blunt includes... Uh, crowbar and uh, baseball bats and planks and planks with nails in them and, and baseball bats with nails in them. Short blunt is hammers, wrenches, nightsticks. Um, some of these can hit multiple zombies, some of them can't. Everything in long blunt can hit multiple zombies if you have that thing conditioned in your sandbox options. Short blunt, only wrenches and nightsticks can hit multiple zombies, the hammer cannot. Long blade, very difficult to find in game, but very, very powerful. Long blade includes uh, machetes. 
that's it. I'm not sure. Hold on. Project Zomboid Long Blade. What counts as a long blade? Let's look at this. Of this long blunt. See, these are all the things. That, if you really want to know more, there's a lot for long blunt there. Like shovels. Shovels, sledgehammers, I didn't mention those. Uh, short blunt has the most options. Pipes are one I didn't mention. Frying pans. Dumbbells, flutes. Long blade, katana machete. That's it. But so powerful, the most damaging weapons and the most damaging crit weapons in the game. They're also the fastest to swing compared to what they do. Um, surprisingly, axes are their own thing. Pickaxe, by the way, also counts for axe. They don't really tell you that. Um, does not count as long blade. I don't know why these are separate, but they definitely are. Short blade. Bread knives, all kinds of knives, forks, so all types of like cutlery, not including spoons, uh, gardening implements, not including the hose and shovels, letter openers, meat cleavers, scalpels, scissor screwdriver, smash bottle. You can actually smash bottles and make a weapon out of that. It's true. They only do stabby stab though. Most of these do stabby stab except for the hand scythe and the meat cleaver. And you can make short knives and stakes as well pretty easily. Oh, that does include spoons. Spears. These are very interesting. Spears break super fast. They've got ridiculously low durability. However, they are the most powerful item in the game because they have the highest crit chance. And when I say crit chance, I mean they have the highest chance of killing zombies instantly. Let's look at, like, a uh, crit multiplier for katana times six damage. Crit multiplier... The first every spear is 10 times. You can get that with some short blade, but short blades, you gotta be standing right next to the zombies. Uh, Nurse actually has a very good video which explains how to do the sneak attack on zombies with short blades, by the way. I would recommend looking up her stuff. But spears are very interesting because normally you just make a crafted spear. You get a knife, you get a stick, you can make a crafted spear. And then with duct tape, you can attach things to it, which does increase its maintenance and how much uh, it can uh, take before it breaks. However, all of these break very quickly. But, as well, if you get a machete, attach a spear to it. It is the most damaging item in the game. Spear with machete. You can walk through zombies like they ain't there. Project Zomboid. Spear Machete. Let's see. Where's that video? There's a very short video somebody put out. Let's see if we can find it really quick. Probably not. Uh, there's there's a video somewhere out there on the internet which shows somebody basically just walking through a mob of zombies. It's so damaging. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, blades of any kind, including blades attached to spears, will break zombie clothing when used. Keep that in mind. If you want to get a lot of zombie clothes, you want to go with blunt. And then, of course, there's improvised weapons, which these don't count for anything. You would think that these would be short blade because they stab. They don't. The skills. Carpentry, making woodworking stuff. Cooking, cooking stuff. Once you get to like eight or so, you can actually... Um... So cooking is a very interesting one. It increases the, uh, the nutritional value you get from all foods. You cook faster. Uh, you get better hunger value out of all foods. And once you get to about eight cooking, you can actually use rotten food in any meal and have no negative effect. Uh, farming, you can check out plants better and easier. You can check the actual condition of them so you know if they're getting sick, how long until they're going to grow, um, if they need more water, um, and you get a better yield out of them as well the higher farming you get. So you actually get more food out of farming with higher farming. Uh, first aid I already explained. Electrical, kind of a useless thing. Electrical. Kind of a useless skill, still, it doesn't do very much. Um, 
it allows you like it doesn't even allow you to learn the ability on your own to connect generators you can't just figure it out but basically once you get to level five you can use a screwdriver and a piece of electrical strap to create a lamp for a battery uh, a battery connector for a lamp that's it hooray uh, with one electrical and two mechanics, you can hotwire. That's it. <laughs> kind of useless to start with electrical. Uh, metalworking, I've already explained because uh, th uh, that's that's a really great skill to get. Uh, with enough metalworking, you also get a bonus to the things that you can do in mechanics. So with metalworking, you can replace the hoods of cars. You can fix the trunks of cars with enough mechanics and metalworking. You can pull the doors and gas tanks off of cars, repair them with metalworking, and then put them back on at 100%. Mechanics is very interesting because it's probably the most involved skill in the game. Mechanics. And the hardest to grind up. Uh, it's There's different things you can do depending on the skill level. At level 5, you can take apart engines and repair engines. Uh... At level two, you can hotwire. Um, you can repair pieces, different pieces of the cars, depending on your mechanic skill. For example, my character in game right now has only five, so he can't repair brakes. You can never repair things like uh, like windows um, or the condition of of wheels, but you can still do quite a bit. Um, tailoring is probably one of my favorite skills to level up ta tailoring not trailering uh depending on the um uh, tailoring allows you to literally make your clothing better and patch it up you can cut if you get scissors you can tear apart denim stuff and leather stuff and patch those pieces with thread onto different bits of clothing to give it better a scratch protection so this is like level 10 at level 10 you can use ripped sheets to give armor. It's amazing. You do, however, need to find one of the rarest and hardest to find items in the game. A needle. God damn it, cat. Could you not be yowling all the time? <sighs> also, the highest, uh, the higher percentage you have in tailoring, the better chance you have of ripping up clothing and getting thread. At level, at level 8 tailored, you'll be able to repair holes completely with the right kind of fabric. Restoring the clothes original defense condition and insulation. So instead of having patches all over your clothing Which is kind of ugly. You could actually make it look normal. Now. There are a lot of clothing that you cannot um, Repair at all shoes uh, firefighter gear uh, Bulletproof vests including army ones cannot be repaired with tailoring firearm is aiming and reloading Um it's really easy to level these up, and uh, so reloading, you basically unload bullets from a from a clip, reload those bullets back in. Do this for a while, you'll get reloading. This increases the speed at which you reload guns faster. Aiming, you get better aim with it. It's actually ridiculously easy to level aiming. Just grab a shotgun, go find a bunch of Zeds, blow them away. Um, when it comes to aiming, the best piece of advice I can give there, standing still and letting uh, standing still will increase your aiming better. Uh, fishing. You get better fish, and your uh, rods last longer before they break. Trapping. You can make different traps if you have the recipe for them, and you have a better chance of getting things out of trapping. This can keep you alive in the winter. Same thing with foraging. I already explained foraging. So there is all of the traits explained, all the professions explained, all of the stuff explained. If you want a more comprehensive guide on how to grind these up, uh, let me know in the comments and I will do a video depending on which and every one of these. We can talk about how to grind them up better and how to grind them up faster. Or you can just do a search on YouTube. A lot of people have done videos like those. I'm Omni Rusted. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more Project Zomboid stuff. Uh, and follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I stream almost every single day on Twitch, and I stream a lot of Project Zomboid. We actually have a public server right now, uh, depending, of course, on how old uh, this video is, which you're more than welcome to come join. It's a role-play server with light PvP, uh, though nobody's really done PvP yet. 
Uh, and if you really want to know the state of everything, come and join my Discord channel, which I will link down below. You have a great day.